Hi, my friends. So we are now in the common areas of Selvanova, Koto 9. Koto means subdivision, uh, or at least that's how I translate it. Um, here we have a little kids pool and one of the pools and uh, there's some people here, so I don't want to film them. Uh, here there is a barbecue area. Okay, and uh, here they have a kids play area, like for obviously for younger kids. Pretty nice. Okay, you can bring books and puzzles and things like that. And um, yeah, so these houses have been selling extremely well. They only started really building like six months ago. And uh, I was talking to the developer rep. She says, it's like an army of people building here. They, uh, again, keep in mind, the, the whole Selvanova development is, is quite expansive. This is uh, Koto 9. They're building Koto 10 and 11. Koto 11 is uh, apartments only. We're going to go see that as well. Um, and she's telling me that at night, all these paths are illuminated. Again, a little kids play area here. So Koto 9 has two pools in it and uh, this kids play area. And it does have a gym. I'll show you the gym. It's a decent sized gym. All these houses um, that surround the pool area, as you can see, have their own direct access through their patios, which is pretty nice. They do have some houses that don't have direct access and those are priced a little bit better. But in any case, all the houses are well priced. I like all the, uh, all the gardening features. Look how gorgeous this is. Absolutely beautiful, upscale. I mean, I have to say this is uh, one notch above their previous kotos. Um, they really uh, surpass themselves. And this is a nice size pool. This is a deep pool. You can definitely do some nice swimming in here. Very beautiful. And yeah, people are already living in this neighborhood. This is the gym right here. Look at that. You know, you have some cardio machines, weights, weight machine. It's nice enough, honestly. Nice enough not to have to go to a gym if you don't want to. And uh, yeah, look how gorgeous this is. Um, it's nice that they left quite a few of the trees and they just built around these trees. Very nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, it's not a surprise the houses have been selling so well. If Koto 10 is designed similarly, I'm sure those are going to be selling very well as well. Um, the developer representative is telling me that within a month they expect to start selling those because here, again, they only have six houses left in this subdivision. And yeah, as you walk to the pool, look at the cute path that you uh, walk on. So if you're not in one of the houses that has direct access to the pool, um, you would walk on this path to get to the pool. I mean, it's just adorable. They, I love these plants. I don't think I've ever seen these plants. They're just amazing. Look how beautiful. Okay, and this is the entry into the subdivision and even this is, you know, one notch above the the landscaping and the their previous subdivisions. Like, they really are uh, outdoing themselves. Because that's visitor parking because as you can see, the house has already come with two parking spots. And that's uh, Melissa right there. She is uh, one of the developer representatives. She's been with the company for three years. This development is about seven years old here in Playa. I didn't know that, but that explains it. They've been, uh, again, they started with Koto 1 and now we're uh, on to Koto 11.